This is Black Hills Fox Sports. Hello everybody, after turning in an impressive performance in their preseason game, the Rapid City Marshals open up the regular season Saturday night when they host the Iowa Rampage. Kickoff is at 6.30 Saturday over at the Monuments Summit Arena. Rachel Erickson has been named the new head coach of the Black Hill State women's basketball team. Erickson played for the Yellow Jackets from 2014 to 18 and was a part of two 20-win seasons. Erickson has spent the past two years as an assistant coach at the Division I level with Colorado State before before joining the Rams, Erickson worked for two years as an assistant at the University of Sioux Falls. Erickson graduated from Black Hill State in 2018 with a degree in science education. She replaces longtime head coach Mark Nori, who recently took over as the Yellow Jackets full-time athletic director. Girls golf teams met up for the Sturgis invite today. Stevens Lure Knapp fired a 77 to earn medalist honors. The Raiders Cameron Scholl finished second with an 80. STM K Caitlin Strain landed in third place with an 83. In boys tennis, Stevens came up on the short end falling to Mitchell by the score of 7-2. The Spearfish boys tennis team is pretty young, but has played pretty well at times this season. Head coach Tom Fitch likes the effort he has gotten from his squad. The Spartans are focused on playing well in the second half. Here's more. The Spearfish boys tennis team has shown some nice improvement this season. Its second year head coach Tom Fitch has a young but talented group to work with. Got a real young team. Uh, only one senior, two juniors, and uh, lots of youngsters. So. We're really focused on the individual development of each of the players, and uh, I'm liking what I see there. Uh, as you well know, in sports, a lot of winning is uh, having the mental toughness to be able to get over the hump to get there, and that's one of the big things we're working on this year. The Spartans have some players that have a knack for doubles, and they are finding some nice success. We put a lot of focus on doubles. Um, it, we figure in a, in a match, you've got six, six singles and the three dubs, and if you can win the three dubs, you only have to win two more points to, to win a match. And so we put a lot of focus on doubles, and the, the guys really enjoy that, I think. And uh, so that's, that's where we focus heavily. Coach Fitch also stresses the mental side of the game, and he knows it's important for players to keep a positive mindset out on the court. I mean, Novak Djokovic says uh, at his level, everybody can hit the ball, uh, but it's what's between the ears that really makes a difference. And uh, trying to get that across to these guys that you have to be mentally tough. Things are not always going to go your way, uh, but that's life, right? So there's a big lesson there. It's not just about sports and tennis. It's about what are you going to do to focus. Spearfish sees some tough competition from around the state, and Coach Fitz is determined to get the program to an elite level. We're competitive with uh, quite a few teams overall in Class A, and there are some who are really, really strong that we want to get to that point. So we have some work to do, uh, but uh, tennis is a great sport. You can play it your whole life. And uh, in Spearfish, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a pipeline from all the way from middle school up through and into high school. Good catching up with that Coach Fitch and the Spearfish Boys tennis team. NFL draft tonight. Caleb Williams went number one to the Bears. Jaden Daniels second to Washington. Vikings took J.J. McCarthy with the 10th pick. Broncos took Bo Nix with the 12th pick. Bron or Vikings also took Dallas Turner, linebacker from Alabama, at 17. That's a look at sports.